what's up guys, Zygmondo here, and this episode of Marvel Contest Champions is going to be on a new, updated, amazing way how to get 4 star shards. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are watching this video before we start. And make sure to check out the link in the description down below, to subscribe to my vlogging channel. And lately I haven't really posted anything, but me and my little brother were, were brainstorming and stuff like that. And we're getting some ideas, some videos that we can do, some cool fun uh, challenges that we can also do. So make sure just to subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my vlogging channel because I'm going to be posting on both of them. So just make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are watching. And subscribe to Alpha G and Mighty Leo also. Mighty Leo is my little brother so I would really greatly appreciate that guys if you guys were to help and get him to 100 subscribers. He's currently at 63 and um, I would just really greatly appreciate it if you guys were to help him get to 100 subscribers. But um, let's get into the video. So, usually one of the uh, easiest ways to get 4 star shards is sometimes they give them out in the daily login calendars and you don't seriously have to do anything except log in in a time zone of four, uh, 24 hours starting at 5pm or depending on your time zone. But it's not that difficult. For this month they didn't give out any 4 star shards but they do give out these crystal shard crystals which give you a chance at 2, um, no, what am I saying? Prem shards, three star shards, and four star shards. And four shards, of course, are the hardest ones, but you can get them. I've gotten them a lot of times. It's not like the prems, where it's very hard to get them. It's it's, uh, it's a lot more common than a four star, of course, because this is just four star shards. But the cool thing is that anybody that's now starting to play, um, they have a much higher chance of getting a four star and a five star now than anybody ever did or when I started because. When I started, honestly, it was very difficult. It was honestly super, super difficult to get a 4-star, even a 5-star. But now they're bringing out 6-stars, and they're just giving out 5-star shards like candy and 4-star shards like pennies. So, yeah, I'm just... It's just honestly crazy on how much this game has evolved. But that is one of the main ways, one of the easiest ways, which you guys don't really have to do anything. So, let's get into the next one. So guys, the next way is usually with some unit special offers, or not unit special offers, with some special offers, and um, for example, right here for $5 you can get 50 Porsche Shards, and that's not amazing, and it's not that bad, I mean, you would have to buy tons of it to get a 4 star crystal, of course, I don't even want to do the math, honestly, but um, usually they have some specials for 4 star shards, usually at the beginning of the month. They have some for daily cards. I don't think they've had it for the last two months, I believe. I don't really quite remember. But um, with Christmas coming up, Thanksgiving, Halloween, um, Black Friday, they come out with some amazing specials, even for 5-star shards. If you guys want to see a 5-star shard um, tutorial, just make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And um, just comment down below if you guys would like to see a 5-star one. But usually they give out of tons of specials. Um, they're bringing a lot of cheaper specials, and it's just really an amazing way to get some. So let's move on to the next one. So guys, the next one would have to be Summoner Advancement, or any of these Alliance events or Solo events. Usually, um, Summoner Advancement is sort of the easiest one. It depends on the amount of points that you score, but you can get, I think, a range of 250. Let me see. No, 375 even more to 500. Which is not bad, honestly, um, for just being able to participate for a little bit of points or as much points as you want. You'll be able to get some 4-star shards and 5-star shards depending on your rank, of course. But usually you always get 4-star shards from Summer Advancement, so it's not that bad. It's not a bad deal. And then Alliance Quest Completion also. We just started Alliance Quest, so I have not completed anything, of course, because we just started not too long ago. But um, this is another way, of course. It's a little harder for some alliances because they don't rank this high, so they don't get this much for sure. Like they won't get the necessary amount of points to get to right here. I mean, but it's just 100. It's not that high. And then three-day uh, event item use. This is going to be really, really difficult, especially if you're in an alliance that sucks or just doesn't really participate, and also if you barely begin because it's kind of hard to get items and use them. Um, so it's just very difficult. Also, I believe level up gives you some. No, they do not, but I know some 
special solo events will give you some four star shards i think like 50 or something like that not a great amount but you'll eventually build up to a large amount of four star shards so let's move on to the next one so guys we are here with one of the easiest ones and it is very time consuming but it usually ends up paying off honestly um because it's just gonna help you overall just complete this but the first four star any side that you're going to be seeing of a four star is going to be an act three once you complete 100 percent those aren't four star shards of course but it's those aren't four star shards of course but it's still going to lead to a four star crystal and a four star champion which i believe everybody wants i mean you get the crystal that's not what you really want all you want is a four star champion but then once you go to act four you get two fully formed and then they're usually the rest is just five star shards but right here for chapter one you get 2,000, which is a fully formed. You get 1,500, and then you get 1,300. That's a little, when it, that's like a little too much. Like that's when you're like higher ranked, honestly. Um, but also, that's this is gonna be all the quests right here in one big old bunch. But for um, the event quest, heroic, I believe, gives you a amount of um, 1,200. So that's 500. No, I think it's 800, right? 500, 700, uh, 800. So yeah, 800 four star shards, and then 2,000 five star shards uh, for master. So that's already fully formed. Plus another 800. That's 2,800, which is really really good. And sometimes they bring these special event quests where you can get fully formed four star shards. I mean four star crystals or just a large amount of four star shards. Um, also, Road to Labyrinth gives you a total amount, I believe, 1,850. Um, yeah, 1850, and then special quest from Legends does not give you anything. And with Legends does not give you anything. So, that should be just about it for the event quest or overall quest. Now, let's move on to Alliance Wars. Alliance Wars, when you first start out, I believe it's just Prems and 3 star shards. So, it's a little hard to build up there, of course. You, it takes some time, it's very time consuming. Um, you have to build up your account to start getting some force shards but you'll eventually get there i remember when we um i was in some alliances because i could only get into those alliances where we would be um at the edge of how would you say prems and three star shards and uh three star shards and four star shards so it was like very annoying because if you would lose one then you would go back down to three star shards and not any four star shards i mean prems so it was just very difficult honestly but Let's move on to the almost last one. So guys, you can be offered a 4 star crystal for 2,500 units I believe. Which I suggest you not to buy whatsoever because there's a lot of easier ways to get it with a less amount of units. And I'd rather spend it on some featured crystals or something because that's just a larger amount of um, units wasted. But of course featured crystals is a way to get it of course grandmaster crystals but that is only for the people that have completed act 5 chapter 2 which i have indeed completed so that is why i have the grandmaster crystal and i pulled i believe two is it two four stars um yellow jacket and black widow i believe yeah that should be just about correct also some premium hero crystals but you're not which I do not suggest to buy, honestly. Even though it's just 100 units, they are honestly one of the worst luck-giving crystals, whatever you want to call it. They're really bad crystals. I have to stop saying honestly. Um, same thing goes um, for the uncollected daily crystal. You have to complete Act 5, Chapter 2 to get these crystals. And it's very, very difficult. I believe more difficult than the Prems to get a 4-star. So yeah, don't really go for that one. And there are uncollected arena crystals and arena crystals, which is one of the rarest, I believe. No, actually, that's a lie. It's the second rarest to get a four star from these crystals. And the first rarest would have to be the Alliance crystal. Anybody can get these. Um, but it's just very, very difficult. My older brother was actually able to obtain one of those champions, a four star and several Colossus. I have a five star because I saved all my loyalty up and got myself a five star. But we're going to be moving on to the almost, almost, almost last one, guys. Um, <clears throat> so basically, when you form a 3-star crystal, you get a 3-star champion, basically. And you get him again, or her. 
when you basically awaken them, when their stars turn silver, and you keep pulling them and pulling them and pulling them, that gives you a certain amount of 55 four-star shards. That ends up building up, which is really good. That is why I'm going to tell you guys right here and right now not to sell your three-star champions, because it is better to just stack up your signature abilities on your three-star champions and just keep getting those 55 three-star shards instead of selling them and getting like 30 or 20 four-star shards. That is not a great deal, honestly. Also, yeah, just getting the, those three-star dupes. Maybe we'll pull a three-star from right here. Don't really know. We will see. No, we will not, because guess what? I'm not lucky with Prime. I used to be very, very lucky, but I only get really bad pulls now. So, um, of course, forming a four-star crystal gets you a four-star, of course. Not going to say it's going to get you a good one, of course, because I've gotten really, really bad pulls. But I believe we're going to be moving to the last one. So see you guys there. So guys, I believe this should be the last one. Correct me in the comment section down below if it is not. Of course, I'm not going to make another video about it. It's just that I missed it, so I'm sorry about that, guys. But another way to get some full share shards is to qualify for rank rewards. So for a three-star, um, so let's say you want to get right here to the top one, 10%. For new champions, new 3 star champions, it's around 1.5, 1.6 is a safe uh, margin right there. Like, th that's the, how do you say it? That's the area you want to be in, basically. You want to score around 1,600,000 points. Um, I don't know exactly how much it is to land in the top 26% or 45%, top 11, 25%. Just go over 500k, and I think it would be good. I think you would start landing right here, and that'll give you more 3 star shards, so you can end up duping your 3 star champion and getting those... 55 four star shards of course also uh, in the basic four star arena if you don't want to go for the champion and if you already have the champion and you cannot basically go for the champion it's usually around 1.7 1.5 it really depends on the champions but you can get up to 500 four star shards which is honestly really good because all you have to do it um, is arena four times and you get a fully four and four star crystal and it is really good I do this a lot, um, I've just been lately slacking on arenas, not lately, for like three, two months, no, not, yeah, actually around three months. I've been slacking, like sometimes I go back on it, um, but then I just drift away from it again, just go, honestly, just kills the crap out of me. I have to stop saying honestly. You can get 250, you can get 125, you can get 75, basically any amount of points higher than 150k will get you to 75 four star shards so i mean that's a very small amount but uh, uh of course it'll end up building up also in the four star featured arena which i do not suggest if you are a beginner to try to get to this because this is very very difficult you would have to score three hundred fifty thousand points with only four star champions and five star champions which if you're trying to get four star champions means that you do not have four star champions to do this and i really highly doubt you guys would have five star champions so if you guys don't have any four star champions, so like yeah, that's why I say I really highly doubt that. But um, scoring three hundred fifty thousand will get you one hundred. I usually get around here because I don't go for right here because you have to score like four point five or four million, which too much time uh, consumed into there. But right here is usually where I land, which is not bad at all. I believe I score around two million points <coughs> to get the four hundred four star shards. This one is not bad at all, honestly. Son of a... I have to stop saying honestly. Also, in completed arenas, you could get some from the Crystal Cornucopia, which will give you a 4-star hero crystal, but it's very difficult to qualify for these, so I do not suggest for you guys to, go, uh, to try to attempt those, basically. Um, but that should be just about it. Hopefully, I'm not missing anything. I think I gathered everything. I think I got everything together. I don't think I'm missing anything, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like. If you guys want to see a five-star version, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and comment down below and subscribe to this channel for vlogs, pranks, challenges, Marvel videos, and future game videos that are coming out very, very soon. And subscribe to my vlogging channel where I'm going to be posting vlogs, pranks, and challenges. I'm going to start trying to grind out at least uh, video every two days. It really depends. Get some footage from the first day, get some footage for the second day, of course. Um, just depends, of course. 
And subscribe to Mighty Leo and Rafa G. I would really greatly appreciate that, guys. Those are both my siblings. Rafa G is my older one. And Mighty Leo is my younger one. Which is going to be coming out in a lot of my videos for the pranks, challenges, and vlogs, of course. Because he's not camera shy. My older brother's a little camera shy. So it's just. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And hopefully, you guys found this helpful. And peace out.